Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the granddaddy plays Noita. First of all, I noticed that this looks different than it did before. There was some kind of very weird hill hole in this area. So yeah, maybe that is something I need to actually be mindful about. Maybe there is actually something on the left that I can only access in certain conditions. But more on that later. Uh, one thing I actually noticed after the last run is that I can actually see my progress in here. I can see all the parts I have collected and all the enemies I have seen. If I go by this, if I go by what I can see in here, I'll take it as a sign that I have actually already seen quite a bit of the game. I've seen a lot of enemies, I've seen a lot of spells, I've seen a lot of perks, but you can also see how these fields, they are actually grayed out, so I don't know if these are all, or if there will be more later on. Also, apparently there are difficult times of these. Never notice. Huh. Um, release notes, I can check them out in here, which is also pretty neat, but I've already checked them out last time. And yeah, that's apparently an option for a daily one. I have no idea how that one is going to go, but I will give it an honest to god try. First of all, it's going to restart the game again for some reason. I don't know if there's any kind of... Yeah, this looks immediately different. I see that now. No idea what that is all about. Um, I don't know if this daily run is actually tracked or compared with other players, but I will go down here. I will try to get us low down as possible as deep down as possible and then we will see we shall see what we can make happen in here I remember having played some daily runs back in the day when I played Binding of Isaac and um, there are a lot of different conditions for a run to be actually good he immediately hit me there like, your time was being checked, the items you collected, amount, quality, quantity, and the likes. All of that was tracked, the amount of HP you have. I don't know if this is just some kind of special, if this is actually going to be competitive, or if it's just for you, so you can see how good you are. But God knows, I'm more than willing to find out. By the way, I haven't seen any too too hard enemies as of this moment like on the last few runs i would have already met some kind of enemy that would be throwing around explosives at me not here and i would like to keep that trend alive i would really like to keep that trend alive i heard that noise there explode there's another enemy he's having a shotgun i believe now he's down we are still bloodied there's a pool of water. And he killed that enemy. Okay, he was shooting that. Good damage. Free gold. Oh, there's one more. Get me good. But not too hard. There's something exploding. He's throwing around bombs. Oh, that was a good crit. Like it. Bloodied up again. But I'm also oily and slithery. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Good. Oh, just noticed that. Um, Gunpowder cag there. Can proceed through there. Let's just get it out of the system then. Like that. Got some good damage. And there's water and we can go deeper in here. Um, there's a thing. Let's go grab it really quick. A sludge flask. Not sure if I'm really going to need that. And yeah, right now it feels like it's pretty hard to get downward momentum in here. I'm moving pretty hard to the sidelines. Which isn't exactly what I want to do, but right now it's... Basically what is happening in here. I entered a new zone. That's interesting though. There's water. Let's actually take a good to dip. And there's an exit. Alrighty then. We made progress. Grab this, grab that. There are fish in there. I don't know if there's... Are they dangerous? Can they hurt me? They cannot. I can shoot them, that I know. Electric charge. Magic arrow. That actually sounds amazing. 
Uh, can't afford this one. Nuke. But only one of those, okay. Quadruple spell and spark bolt with trigger. Is that the thing I have in here? Only a spark bolt, but not with a trigger. Okay, I will buy the things that I can afford, I would say. Let's go with this one, this one, and this one. See what they are all about. Spark will cast another spell upon collision. Sounds good. Put that in here. And hope that I have enough mana. Oh yeah! I see it. Oh my god! What was set what was setting me on fire there? I have no idea. What happened? Where would that come from? <coughs> I am actually irritated right now. Okay, um, that's pretty good. Quadruple spell. Let's actually see how this is gonna work. Okay, I don't see a quadruple spell. Do I need to take this before that one? Like this? Doesn't do the trick either. Man, I have no idea how these things are supposed to work. Maybe I only use it with one thing? No. Still not doing it. Man, I don't know. I have to probably read up on how these things work. Let's put one of these magic arrows in there. Looks differently. I think it's probably stronger. 10 to 3. Yeah, it's much stronger, actually. What if I put these together? Um, interesting. And if I put these together, still not getting quadra shots out of it. I'll leave it like that for the moment. And maybe actually add this one back in there. And hope for the best. What do we have here? Repelling cape. That actually sounds amazing. Electricity has killed me twice already. I'm not going to take that one again. Bombs materialize. Sounds ominous. Stains drop at a fast rate when moving. Does that go for toxic sludge and fire as well? Because if it does, that would be amazing. Okay. Can I hit you? Hit you, hit you, and killed you. Very nice. Um, if I destroy that powder keg there, this should set this entire situation on flame, right? Is that what's going to happen in here? I think it is, but it's probably going to take a while, so let's just go somewhere else. Oh, hi. Not willing to deal with you here. There's water. Some of these flies. I have no idea where that joker on the right is coming from. One shot. Another one shot. Give me that. Don't necessarily want to be gooped up though. Why is there water on the ceiling? Someone tried to explain me that. What is... Oh no. Uh, there's goop on the bottom. Let's try to levitate all the way over here. Don't think I can actually progress through here. Damn. Alright, we go down in here then. There are small flies. That magic arrow thing actually lets me one-shot those, which is amazing. Uh, there's another one. Can't reach you there. Could reach you there, though. This is probably going to go in flames pretty soon. There's an item. And there's an enemy, a big one. Let's actually grab this really quick. Hope that it's gonna be good. It actually looks good. Firing pretty slow. But I think it's freezing enemies and it's dealing good damage too. Oh no, 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 no. I made a mistake, I made a mistake. But everything worked out. I'm on fire. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that was not what I had in mind, but it all seemed to work out. Okay, let's see. Do I still have 100 mana in here? Apparently... No, I have much more mana now. Is that entirely reliant on the wand I wield? Maybe it is. Let's see if I can upgrade this one. Um, Mana drain 30. So I can basically just spam that, right? Let's put this one in here. 
try that out. There was a quadra cast. Like that. So what happens if I don't put all that many casts in here? If we just take these all out and keep that paired together with a quadra cast in here. What's happening? Doesn't do a thing. There are no quadra casts in here. It's a bummer. But we'll deal with that situation. Um, put all of these back in here. Keep the quad or cast one. Maybe add one of these magic arrows in here. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I think that should do me some good. Alright. What do we get here? Perk Lottery. More love. More love sounds good. Breed mess. Let's go with more love. Creatures in the world are more friendly towards each other? Why would I want to do that? Also, I am taking damage the moment I went down there. There's an enemy. Looks pretty threatening. And there's another item. Where's one more wand? What is in there? Interesting. Looks entirely different. Ooh! If that is dealing good damage, I am all over the moon for that one. Where? There was... Oh, there he is! He's still alive. Yeah, killing him seems to take a while. Oh, a levitation ran off. Okay, okay, cool. He was actually a spawner right off the bat. Oh, hi, a rat. I gotta say, this weapon feels amazing. I don't know if it actually is amazing, but it feels amazing. That sound it gives off is just off the hooks. These guys can levitate. And now they can fall. Um, You know what, let's actually keep up the downward momentum in here. There's one more. One shot. Oh, hi. He never knew what hit him there. I would say we're having a pretty good run on our hands here. No. Can I get you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Far too kind. I don't know if staying in this water is actually good for me because this is a pretty cold zone apparently. So I don't want to freeze myself to death. Hello there. What? Set me on fire. Oh, this guy probably. Yeah, man. We have a very strong weapon right now and I love it. No idea where I'm going. There isn't a lot of downward momentum in here. That's one. That's another one. Pretty sure there was an enemy up in here. Oh, I was almost looking. There he is! He died in one shot. And he's leaving a lot of these frosty clouds behind, of which I am no fan. There was another one of those. Let's... He's probably just going to follow me around forever, right? So it's better to take care of him now. Wait for these to disperse. Good. Uh, hi. He has a sniper rifle. Or a sniper wand, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if Morloth was really what I wanted. I would prefer these guys to just kill each other dead. He lived. I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Go down in here, hope for some water, hope for some water. Oh no, poison! Uh, okay, good. I'm out. There's a snowman. And a burning rat. And another snowman. Good. Keep going. What is this? Looks like some kind of machine. Maybe I need electricity to keep that. Or to get that moving. Uh, I'll try to put down a bomb in here. See if that is going to do the trick. It's not. Explosions not strong enough to deal with that situation. There's another rat. Where are all these rats coming from? Oh, hi! Who's shooting there? You are shooting. And I don't like that one bit. He was alive forever, too. Can't progress there, but I can't progress here. Careful. This feels like... Yeah, I knew it. Die, die, die. 
There we go. There's one more red. Pick up all the nuggets, and there we go. Not sure if this is the deepest we have ever gone, but it is certainly very deep. There's only one thing in here I can afford. Another one. Let's grab it. Let's test it out. Ooh. It actually explodes at random. Interesting. I just should be careful with that one. There's one of these energy orbs. I have a couple of those already, so let's put that out of here. Formation Pentagon. Slithering Path. Fireball Thrower. Calls a projectile to cause fireballs in random directions as it flies. Sounds amazing. Firebomb. Slow Fury Bolt. No, no, no. I don't want that one. Glowing Lance. Sounds amazing, though. Okay. Um, first of all, which wand is better? I think... This one probably still. This one not as much. But we have here concentrated light. Damage 10. This one is dealing damage 11. And this one is dealing damage 35. Amazing. How much mana? 30. Okay. Um, let's take everything we have out of this wand. Ah, double clicking just takes them out entirely. That's actually good to know. Put that in here and test it out. Feels good, but as you can see, it drains all my mana immediately. And apparently, right now I have 350 mana. Okay. Why does this drain all my mana immediately when it says mana drain is only 30? Also, there's a recoil to it. Damn. Um, okay, let's try to add, 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 add. Which one? Above and below. Let's see what that is going to do. It's not doing a thing. It's not doing a thing, guys. It's not doing a thing. It's no progress at all. Thank you. Uh, let's try this one. Okay. Now it's actually apparently throwing around random explosions. Of which I don't know if that is actually... Uses remaining. Apparently I wasn't even able to use that in... Forever, that's bad. Okay, that's bad, but it's also good to know. So, let's see. This magic arrow is also dealing good damage. Okay. Can use them one after another, and that is actually fine. Let's put some of these magic lights in here. Because they were actually doing pretty good for me. Let's see. Seems pretty okay. Seems pretty okay by my standards. Um, let's see if we can put some energy orbs in here as well. Let's see if that is gonna do me some good. I mean, maybe. I'm willing to give this a good old college try. Poison arc. Not a fan. This one is already out of ammo because I did not check. And um, above and below. You know what? Let's try to exchange one of those for that. Every now and then. Every now and then. You know what? That's fine by me. Let's try to add one of these quadruple things in here. I think I am seeing that every now and then. Okay, I think I have crafted a fairly powerful wand in here. Also, we still have this pentagon thing, right? Let's see if we can replace this. Yeah, I think we have something good on our hands now. I think we do have something good on our hands. Um, just to be safe, I will put everything else I have into this one. And then we will keep on moving on. Not the snaky thingy one, but maybe like this. Let's try the third one out. This seems pretty usable as well. Okay, we're good. We are armed and ready, boys. And hopefully we'll get something good in here. What is it? Revenge explosion. So if I take damage, I will explode. And critical hit plus. I think that's actually going to be the best one. Oh, hi! They are already here! They are already here. I'll be them. Good. They are all here! Oh my lord, Lantern. And he immediately got a big old hit on me. These jokers are not kidding around. And they keep coming. They keep coming. Why are there so many of them? 
Can I please make my descent here now? And at Hizzy Base. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. That looks pretty, pretty bad, though. Oh my god! My spare shots were indeed. My spare shots were actually destroying the big powder keg. Oh my god. I wasn't even able to enter the thing. But you know what? That's a new record. We went much deeper than we ever did before. And we saw a new zone. So that's pretty good. Um, you know what? I will end this episode right here. End it on a high note. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have the greatest of days.